Hey y'all, it's Kate. I was looking out the bathroom window at 8 o'clock and usually by this time most everyone's going, the adults have gone into bed. So my young birds, which are young adults now since the leghorns are laying, tend to like to come out and uh, roam around. Earlier video I mentioned chaos, sleeping in weird places, but just sometimes makes me freak out. Yeah. He doesn't hear me out here. Kind of how I know he's starting to to go deaf. So Cosmo just got chased off by Flower. She's like, I don't want any of your romantic overtures right now. Oh, he heard me or saw me. But yeah. So I looked out the bathroom window, which is right here behind me, and Zin Zin, who just ran in, and Lily there, the uh, gray and white, were up there on the little arch, just preening and something. Cosmo's running around, trying to hook up with a couple of Leghorn girls, getting chased off. I'll probably check to see if I have an egg. Hello, mister. You want a snack before bed? So, probably by 8.30 or 9, once it starts to get dark, I'll come out here and make sure everyone's up. Count, count the legs. But they're all starting to filter in. Lily's finally starting to get a little bit bigger. Because it's like, I kind of look like a hawk right here. She's just a barnyard mix. Where Zin Zin and Cosmo, there's the hands and everything, are both Easter Eggers. And that is also marked by their uh, slate grayish blue legs and cheek muffs. But she's yellow legged and she doesn't have cheek muffs. Doesn't look like she's going to have any kind of a comb. She, Her comb and her little bottle area, I don't know how much she's going to have. And they haven't really reddened up, so. She might be a, a mix of a breed that just barnyard mix that's going to uh, not run because she doesn't want to set for Cosmo. He'll get she squawks and squawks. He can't really get her to set and cover her because she just doesn't get it. But I think she's pretty. She's very pretty. I I can't wait to see what she looks like as she grows up. Yes, I'm talking about you, Lily. So let's see what everybody else is who has come up in, in bed for doing. Cosmo's snacking, Zin Zin's standing there. We got Marigold. Looks like Kiva. I'm trying to do her best to straighten Marigold's feathers. Yeah, Kiva just reached over and picked up one of the leghorns. So that Eru's up there. And uh, Luna has a number one thing. She doesn't want her mouth making. She's got a mouthful of your feathers, dude. She's not in the mood for it. They are as big as him, so. Yeah, somebody's feathers, I don't know. She had the mouthful of feathers, so leave her alone. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> just tried to attack you when he came in. Don't mess with me. He's just being a boy. And I still have to weigh weigh the factor of whether I'm gonna, you know, keep both roosters. If I keep both roosters, I may eventually have to get some more hens. And I don't want to part with either of them because I love them both. Apparently, you got why did you have to goose zins in that way? The Brahma's just kind of they're just heathers. Like, I'm eating. I don't want him trying to mess with me when I'm eating. And they all, of course, roost on the very top. See, there goes one of the Brahmas going, hey! So there's Luna. But they all end up squishing together and sleeping right next to each other. But I guess she just doesn't want that leghorn on that middle uh, roost with her. Who knows? And of course, true to form, 
my most well-behaved bird. Yep, sweet, sweet moors up here. So there's gonna be no rain tonight. It's, there's very little breeze or anything. So I will leave that side up. When that side is down, if you're not familiar, there is a, a window. It's not going to, it's gonna be pretty um, still tonight. Turn your fan on for you. So, turn it just a little bit. So she'll have a lot of little breeze when she, once she, uh, I've got a position so that once she's like perched, she'll be getting, it'll be kind of towards, you know, I like to have air in my face, but it'll be around her legs and her, she perches with her back to the corner and kind of hangs her head down front and goes right to sleep. Chaos, if it's not bad weather at night, he will get up there on the little porch area here which I've been saying this week, I'm gonna come out and put in the holes and this is the uh, the cover for the porch, pull it out, I'll fix it so it can't fall off. Right now, that piece of tree limb is what's holding it on there, but this is more weed cloth that's going to go over the, the strip of the garden I'm not using because my watermelon are trying to climb all over my cucumbers. So anyhow, that was just a little chicken bedtime antics. We'll come back and see what they're doing now. You guys all getting ready to roost up there? I'll go ahead and shut the door if I know they're all in here. Where's Lily? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh. Lily's being the slow last one to bed, so come on Lily, go on in so I can shut the gate and go in because the skeeters are biting me. gonna take your time because of course she knows I want her to go in. I mean, it's still quite light out here but their little clocks and, and their nature and their instincts tell them it's bedtime. Okay, I'll get to call now the one gate. Come on Lily, that's gonna be it. Any other time she would she rarely leaves Zinzin and Cosmo side, but so here's Paul taking the trash cans to the curb. <laughs> yeah, because I'm waiting for her to go in, she's not going in. Come on, go on in there. It's bedtime. Away from the gate. They were handled quite a bit as chicks, but as they became teenagers and they're out running the yard, um, and it's, it's gotten hotter this summer, I don't. Okay, there's Zinzin's gonna run out. Kyle's someone's gonna follow them. So I'll wait till closer to 9 o'clock, let them roam around if they want. But typically, I'll do this. So I'll say, okay, you guys stay out. He's coming up, he's, he's making his little calling the girls noise. I don't always listen, but they pretty much do identify him as their roo and do what he wants. But as soon as I go in, I can go right in the house and look out the window and they'll all be in there. I'm like, I was just standing there. Come on, ladies. Going in for the night. The cicadas are starting to, the, uh, the song competition. Who sounds best for the ladies? Mosquitoes are biting me, girls. Okay, that's it, I'm giving it up. I'm going in, I'll put them to bed a little bit later. Colin's at the door, I mean Cosmo. I had Colin for so long, now I'm just, it's really hard for me with a C name. You know, starting with a C-O for me to, maybe I'm just getting old, but I keep calling him the wrong name wrong rooster name. Give me an identity crisis. That's it, girls. Come on. Come on. I don't want to have to come back out. 
that we might just have to have one more snack. I think there's a few uh, soldier fly, uh, dried soldier fly larvae there, kind of where they're standing. He's calling you guys. Laddie makes a similar noise. He will come out to his female so he'd make that kind of. Come on. All right. There goes Zinnia. Zinnia's so pretty. You see your little cheek muffs. I love this dynamic. He keeps coming to the door and going back in and making the same little clucking pattern. Like, come on, girls. It's bedtime. Ushering his ladies in. Of course, you're being stubborn. Come on, ladies, come on. You know, it's the one one piece of skin on the top of my foot that, of course, the mosquitoes are like, we got to bite. I'll step up here and see if what looks like I'm approaching with the Come on, ladies, let's go. Come on, come on. Come on, go on, go on in there. Well, he's like, I know you can't reach me. Go on in. All right, they're being stubborn and I'm getting itchy. All right, say night, girls. I'll come out and see you in a little bit.